Guys, be nice. Be nice, guys. I'm more worried about the cat than anything. I'm trying to get them to be friends. I don't really want to be friends. That's Adina, by the way. You be a nice cat. What's wrong with you? Don't follow her around. <laughs> hey, Reflections. So, I've been gone for a while because, number one, uh, we had a situation where a roommate uh, moved out, so that was a bit uh, dramatic and intense, but like my other roommate that said uh, the psychic uh, energy is a lot lighter <laughs> it's a lot lighter and um, there's not uh, a lot of chaos really um, this person was the one that was sexist and um, didn't like women uh, and it all started with um, him barging in and uh, cursing and screaming while there was another uh, reflection there and uh, that I was talking to or getting ready to go out and my first response was to feel anger feel anger because uh, why would he do this you know why would he just come into my space and start screaming and cursing at me for absolutely no reason uh, but once I observed this anger, um, I gave compassion because I realized that the only reason why a person would be acting this way is if this person themselves were hurting. And uh, after that I kind of surprised him and I just gave him a big hug and I said, you know, we're going to have to be um, living together and uh, Let's make this nice, you know, let's, let's be friendly, let's be loving, and let's respect each other. And, um, you know, I'm not here to make you angry or offend you, and this is not my uh, way of being. And basically what I feel that I was was the voice of reason. I was the voice of reason, uh, and usually when I, I told my boyfriend, I said, when I come here, somebody is going to learn a lesson. It's either me, it's either somebody else, somebody's gonna have to learn something. <coughs> I'm still sick, I'm sorry. Um, and uh, I was the voice of reason. I basically told him, listen, this is not how people act. Let's communicate, you know, let's be loving, let's be, you know, open and uh, not disrespect one another and stuff like that. And lo and behold, the very next day, he did not take heed of my advice and he got into a fight with the person that owns the apartment, actually. And within a day, he was out. Like, literally, the guy kicked him out. And I told him, <laughs> I told him, you know, we don't fight, you know, we don't. Basically, the guy was uh, threatening to kill himself and everybody in the house uh, by lighting the house on fire. And safe so that's why we had to get that under control and get that energy outside of our house because everybody was really feeling it you know everybody was really feeling it and now that that person's gone again I told him you know I told him uh, but everybody has their own way and everybody isn't very he wasn't very conscious enough to see that this was a warning you know, that this was something that, you know, there was a lot of macho ego. So, yeah, let me see how long I've been talking about this already. Um, I'm not <coughs> I'm not using my phone only because I have some notes that I, I wrote. <coughs> and um, I wanted to go over these notes a little bit because this... It's very easy for me these days to... Um, 
not find judgment in others because I recognize a part of myself within someone. And uh, this is what I wrote down. Seeing everyone is a reflection of you. Uh, seeing the humanity in everyone. I put myself in that person's, you know, shoes. Even if there's nothing to relate to, you know, um, religion, socioeconomic uh, status, background, all of these things, it doesn't matter because this is not in actuality what we are. This is something that we identify with, which is an illusion, okay? Uh, but the truth is that everyone is a reflection of you and I always have this in the back of my mind uh, when I'm dealing with very difficult people because the reason why people are hurting other people is because they are hurting themselves and it's this fractal effect of anger and sadness and negativity and hurt and I saw as soon as I, I put my hands around this guy, you know, as soon as I hugged him, all of that just melted. It all melted and it didn't matter that I was a woman. It didn't matter I was uh, another color. It didn't matter, you know, what I was. I was giving him love. And that's something that, um, that was very important. You know, I really think that that's... Whenever I see somebody angry, whenever I see somebody hurting, my immediate reaction now is to see how much can I love, you know. <coughs> Seeing the uh, humanity in everyone, relating to someone, you know, I realized the reason why this person was having a very hard time is because it's very hard for people to relate with with one another these days, even though we are so connected. Because that superficial connection we have, you know, uh, that connects us to everyone, it still makes us feel separation. Because with all of this connecting, people are still hurting one another, you know, they're still bullying, they're still, you know, we could see it online, you know, we could see how we treat each other. And, uh, establish a connection with other people it's because everybody is suffering everybody has so much stuff going on in their lives so much programming telling us that we are separate um, that we are better than one another or um, so many things really um, people that are um, struggling with um, a whole bunch of stuff, really. <coughs> I'm trying to not make this video very long. But, um, I do have a lot of things to say. Um, and another thing I realized, once this person had moved away, was people want to relate, okay? When we do connect, when people do want to connect with you, they want to connect with you for all the wrong reasons, really, I find. Well, not the wrong reasons. I mean, uh, the reason would be to complain, to be negative, or to talk about negativity, talk about um, how someone is uh, not right, or, or not a good person, or, or not X, Y, and Z. I saw that there was a lot of um, that talk as soon as my the roommate had left. Uh, people like to bond over um, complaining, really. And, um, tearing each other down. Now the last thing I wanted to do was make fun of someone or um, connect with people on this vibe because it just didn't feel right. You know, and this is again uh, lacking compassion and uh, not really seeing the humanity, seeing yourself as separate. And I see that, you know, when we talk about one another, when we say, uh, this person is this and I am that, um, it's not really seeing the whole truth, you know what I mean? Um, especially when some people think that other people are energy vampires. Well, we're all in a way, either taking more than we should or giving more than we should. And, uh, yeah, it's... It's very interesting. Another thing uh, I talked about, or I, 
I wrote down was silence scares people. Uh, this is something I've realized more and more. Uh, you know, when the universe talks to you uh, and you're learning so much, it's just this information overload, you know, which I feel all the time. Everything is so transparent. And when the earth talks to you, you know, when the information field around you talks to you, you really don't have a lot to say, <laughs> you know? The reason why I don't have a lot to say in my everyday life is because I'm leading my life in a non-judgmental way. And this is why I say, you know, some people, they just want you to agree with them or to hear them complain. And I thought to myself, why do you have to be in these situations? Why? Why is it that I learn more about myself when there are people around me? And it's because I'm strong enough. I'm stronger than a lot. I am capable of seeing the gray and seeing everything. And that's why I have to be here because I have to be the voice of reason. I have to. You know, compassion is something that not many people understand. You know? Compassion isn't just shown to the people that you like. It's shown to everyone. You know? And it's so funny because don't really <laughs> um, identify with anything really but I can really see what you know these prophets had said or Jesus or Muhammad you know all of these prophets I can really understand the Buddha can really understand compassion these days because the people that need it the most are not your best friends they're the people you don't really want to hang out with. They're the people that annoy you. They're the people that hurt you, that test you. And those are the people that need it the most because they're so lost. They're so lost. My boyfriend said, you were the nicest person here to him. And he was the meanest person to you. And I said, what would I get being nasty to a person that's already hurting, that's already threatening suicide, that's already so hurt inside, suffering in their own bullshit, what would I get? <laughs> that's what I mean when you can't be a dick anymore, you know? People will try to antagonize, try to bring something out of you because they want that energy. They want to rise. But I just can't do it. This might be rambling, by the way. <laughs> Connecting in silence with energy. It's another thing I wanted to talk about. So a reflection had recently uh, visited me. <coughs> Actually, a lot of reflections have visited me recently. Um, I've been having so many friends come over and I think I, that's why I've been getting sick. I've been having so much fun and just hanging out and just having a great time. And uh, it was really interesting, excuse me. <laughs> um, a reflection had visited me and we were going to a, a nightclub type, not a nightclub, but a rave type event. And I could tell, because we had a psychedelic, I could tell that she was not really into uh, the psychedelic stuff. Um, the, uh, not the, I'm sorry, my head somewhere else. She was not really into the environment. Uh, it was a little bit uh, too much. And we started talking together. You know, I brought her back to my house and she said, 
you know, I'm so sorry, I, you know, cut the, the fun short. And I said, listen, I don't have to be at a rave. I can be in meditation, home, and I'm still gonna have fun. You know, I can be talking to you, I'll still have fun, it doesn't matter. And I realized people just wanna be heard. They just wanna be heard, they just wanna be loved, they just wanna be held, they just wanna be understood. You know, and I realized, wow, that's why I'm here, man. That's the only reason. It's not about the glory. It's not about the fame. It's not about the likes. It's not about the validation of all of this. You know, and that's why I also take some time off of social media a lot. To see to myself, if this is an addiction or if this is really just to do the right thing. And I think for me sometimes it's so hard to keep up with my social media and all of these things because it can be very superficial, but I always have to remind myself it's not about that. You know, it's not about The validation, it's how much can you love? How much can you give? Because I realize why I have to do this. I realize why I have to give so much love. It's because I've been through so much. I understand so many things, so many perspectives, you know? And that was so humbling. So she kept on talking. We were having this conversation and she was talking. And she, every single time she said the word trigger, oversold trigger, she'd say trigger, trigger. I realized that this reflection was here to trigger that higher state of awareness. To show me that I am really, truly an angel here on earth. To show me it's not about all of the superficial things. You know, it's about, it's about here. I get really emotional. I guess. That's all it's about. It's about here. Oh, hi. <laughs> the cat. Cats, uh, been having a really hard time with the, uh, the dog. They haven't really been fighting. So yeah, um, we connected on a very silent way. Connected with each other's energy. I you know that's a type of connection. A deep, deep soul connection. Not many people can understand that I like to have. That scares people. <laughs> that scares a lot of people. And um, it's this rawness, it's this realness, you know, that not many people can handle. So when I can connect to somebody's spirit, the very core of who they are silently. It's a really special thing. So, yeah, it was beautiful. She kept on saying, you know, sometimes uh, the oversold sense triggers, and every single time she would say trigger, I was like, it was like, it felt like an acid experience. I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> Here it is. Here's the trigger. Here's the trigger. This is about doing what's right. Doing what's compassionate, not right. Right is subjective. Uh, doing what's compassionate, you know, and just loving. And it puts so much into perspective. So it was, it was really something that I'm very thankful I experienced. It was scary. <laughs> 
Every single time this happens, it's uh, it's very intense. Uh, but I'm I feel so special that uh, I was able to experience that. And then after that experience, I got sick. I got the flu, and I've had the flu for about a week already. Um, <coughs> it still hasn't gone away. And that's why I've been detoxing. I've been detoxing my body from heavy metals, uh, from different fungi, uh, different parasites, all of that stuff. I've been really just focusing on my health. And I know I should not have detoxed when I had the flu, but I figured my body was already expelling all of the toxins within my body. I might as well detox. So that's why I, I got really, really, really sick. and. Uh, at one point, I wasn't even well enough to like leave the bed, so um, the fact that I'm doing this right now, I'm really proud that I'm able to. And on Friday, I was going to do a video. I still didn't feel really well, but it was raining, and uh, I decided, you know, I'll just keep it for another time. Um, but I'm feeling better and um, stronger, so that's why I'm gonna keep on doing what I'm doing. I didn't forget you guys, obviously, I didn't, but my health is very important. Um, and if I don't feel that I, I you know, well enough, I'm not, I'm not going to, to do this because it does take a lot of heart and a lot of soul to, uh, to do this and, and I'd just rather do oh, my camera cut off. Anyway, reflections, that's everything and uh, I hope to see you soon and I hope you're having an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Hey reflections, if you like this video, please like, subscribe and check out my other videos. Thank you.